Alright, hi there, Blake here. Um, I'm going to do a demo of how I type on my phone with a uh, Hippo Remote Pro using a profile called Truebind Keyboard uh, that I made based on a, a, a keyboard layout that's made efficient for typing with, with one finger. So um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know the kind of the context of this video, uh, but if you don't, there's a link and some info down in the description uh, that you can that you can look at but basically um, I have a disability and I uh, use my phone to type on my computer and QWERTY is not efficient enough <laughs> so instead of using QWERTY I'm using this profile called Chupon so I want to kind of give you a demo so this app is Hippo Remote Pro you can get it on the App Store for five dollars and there's some setup process involved in you in getting the Chubon keyboard profile set up on it, but uh, right out of the box, Hippo Remote Pro can let you use a QWERTY keyboard layout, and you can use a mouse trackpad thing that looks a lot like this middle screenshot. Uh, by the way, I'm using Hippo Remote Pro and my Chubon keyboard profile right now, so controlling the mouse, controlling uh, typing in a second, I'm going to be doing that with uh, with this profile. So I'm going to. I'm going to minimize this middle screenshot so I can bring up a text editor. But basically what you're looking at here is this is what I'm using right now to control the mouse. So you've got your left click, right click, and then you this little thing down here can help you scroll. Uh, I won't explain it. but And then you have these tabs. So during the course of the demo, uh, since I can't really record my phone and my computer screen at the same time, very well. I'm just going to uh, tell you what buttons I'm pressing as we go. So I'm going to minimize this panel and I'm going to bring up a text editor here. Okay, but basically I have a keyboard tab and an arrow pad tab. So the keyboard tab is going to be all these letters over here on the left, a screenshot on the left. The screenshot on the right over here is going to be the arrow pad. All right, so that's what it looks like. I'm going to tell you what these buttons do. All right, so I'm going to hit the I'm going to hit the keyboard tab, and so now my iPhone looks like the screenshot that you see on the left. And so the problem with um, Hippo Remote Profile uh, using it using a Hippo Remote Hippo Remote Profile to actually type is that you can't simulate the Shift key. Normally on your phone, right, you you would hit Shift and then that gives you access to capitals and you can, you can press another button to get access to special characters and numbers whereas on a profile there's just no way to do that it's not really set up to even do what I'm using it for so uh, so on the top the reason I have two keyboards up here on the, on the left screenshot here is that the top one are capital letters and the bottom ones type lowercase letters uh, now I made all the labels in caps so they'll be easier to see but just note that the keyboard up top is capitals the keyboard down bottom is lowercase and at first that was really weird but honestly after a while I got very used to it and it's I think it's almost easier than pressing shift after a while because it's already up there on the screen it's one less tap that you gotta make alright so I'm just gonna type a quick sentence here um, let's do Okay, hopefully you can see this. I'd like to make this thing bigger, but I don't want um, I want you to be able to see the uh, panels. Maybe I can move these over a little bit, like so. Okay, so hopefully you can still see that. Um, Let's go ahead and type something else so we have some text to work with. This is about as fast uh, as I can type. Did I make any typos? I do tend to make some typos because there's one flaw of using the Hippo Remote Profile is, uh, I'm just going to refer to it as the Chewbine Keyboard, 
profile here, but the, the, the drawback is that it can't use your phone's autocorrect. If you were using Hippo Remote Pro and QWERTY, then you could then it would autocorrect if you wanted if you wanted that option, and that would help you make hopefully less typos. So sometimes I don't know why for some reason I tend to miss the space bar of all keys. So I'll be typing really fast and I'll miss spaces in between letters. Uh, so one cool thing though about typing this versus using the QWERTY keyboard on iPhone is that uh, the punctuation is already on the screen. So when I type something like an apostrophe, a comma, I don't have to waste time uh, go into another panel, right? So the punctuation is already up there. Numbers already up there. Um, so that's pretty. That's pretty good. All right. I'm gonna press the arrow pad tab, and so what my iPhone screen looks like right now is gonna be the screenshot that you see on the right side of the screen. So we've got a panel of buttons over there, uh, kind of arrow keys and then some other buttons. I'm going to show you what those do. So the arrow keys do what you think they would do. They actually are just arrow keys. So I can push left, up, right, down. All right, and I'm moving through, you know, just like the arrow keys work. All right, another cool thing though is that uh, if I click, if you look over at the right screenshot, you'll see there's two buttons that say Word. One has a cursor on the left and one has a cursor on the right. So what those do is, is one of them goes left and it goes by one whole word. So if you want to go back a long way, you could use that to jump backward one word at a time. So that's really helpful if you need to like get to the end of a sentence. Uh, this is all to save yourself from having to click the mouse because you could go back to the mouse if you wanted to and then click somewhere. But you know, it's tedious because you gotta aim in the right place. And then it's just, and if you're already typing and, and you don't feel like trying to transition back to the mouse, maybe that's just me, but it's it's an annoyance with me, so I prefer to just jump through my text using uh, oops, using different shortcuts, uh, like the arrow keys. Okay, also selecting text, all right? Uh, like for instance, let's say I wanted how are you to be, hello, how are you, to come after the quick brown fox sentence. So I could just jump back here and I can select this by using the four buttons along the top of the uh, arrow pad. So what they are is there's, it's kind of, I'm trying to, how do I explain how they look? The two, let's say, take the two middle ones first. The, the two keys that are right above the up arrow key. All right, those, if you press one of those, like I'm pressing the left one, it highlights one character at a time. So you can highlight a word or a couple of words that way. All right, or the ones on the outside, so the top left corner and the top right corner on the on the arrow pad over there, those highlight one word at a time. So I could grab this whole sentence like that, one word at a time, okay? Now I have at the bottom underneath the arrow keys, there's a copy button, so I can hit copy, then I can delete that, go over here, delete that space. Press down a couple of times, space, paste. All right, now I've pasted it. And I mean, I haven't timed myself, but I feel like that's quicker than transitioning back over to the mouse. Uh, it might take some getting used to. Um, the little box button, that's uh, return or enter. I didn't have a good symbol for that, so I just had to use that. Uh, but that's an enter button, so you can make paragraph breaks and stuff. Uh, in between the delete key and the and the enter key there, that's a space. So if you need to go put spaces back in, you can do that. Like so. Alright, so that is the error pad. Um, it's basically made for working with text. So once you've typed, so you can hit the tube on tab. Okay, now I'm, I'm back on the left screen. I've got my Chewbine keyboard up, so I can type things. Uh, yeah, okay, so you see I made a typo, so I switch back over to the arrow pad. I'm just gonna go back a little bit. Yeah, I fixed it. So that's why I created the arrow pad, to fix things like that. Um, the Alfred key is not really that relevant to everybody, 
but it's just an application launcher called Alfred. So like, if I click it, then it pops up my Alfred thing. So if I want to open like text edit, I can just do that, press return, and it's just a way to not, I have a lot of applications in my applications folder. So that's just an easier way to open applications, especially if I'm already using my phone. For me, it's a lot of work to move my hand from my phone back over to my mouse. Uh, I am able to use a mouse. I use an Apple Magic Mouse, but uh, but when I'm on my iPhone already typing long form, you know, long emails or whatever it is, you know, I don't feel like moving my hand back over to the mouse takes a lot of effort. So I use the... Um, get the screenshot back up so I use if you um, you know just make sure none of the tabs are selected then you'll have the touchpad and then you can click key, uh, tap keyboard for your Chubine keyboard uh, arrow pad for your arrow pad and then also it's worth noting that if you tap this button in the top left corner up here that's how you get access to the built-in HIPAA remote you know QWERTY keyboard it works just like your your keyboard on your iPhone does uh, including autocorrect and all that good stuff. And then if you actually tap on Chubine keyboard here, you can change to different profiles. So you can have a, I think there might be an iTunes profile for like controlling your music playback, different stuff like that. Uh, let me think what else. Uh, somebody made a World of Warcraft profile that actually has a game controller on it. So you can use your iPhone to play World of Warcraft. Uh, I did that for a little while. It was kind of bad but anyway so hip remote it's five dollars it's a cool uh handy remote app i've tried a whole lot of remote apps and as of the time of this video january 13th 2013 i'm saying hippo remote pro is still the best one but if somebody has another one please let me know or comment or something because i'm always on the lookout but uh the chewbine keyboard profile is uh, not available within the app hopefully in the future it will be but it's not right now so you need to use you'll you'll tap on the little gear icon to go to settings and you'll need to use set up a uh, Dropbox syncing but once you do that you can download the files drop the folder in the in the in the hippo remote Dropbox folder and it'll automatically uh, sync to your to your phone and then you can use it and if you need help with that I can uh, I can help you with that also uh, it's not it's it's not incredibly difficult to create a profile so you if you have a certain need that it, you think it would be cool you know just any kind of customized buttons or, or what have you then uh, you could either look into doing that or you could get in touch with me I might even can help you if it's fairly simple maybe get a little profile made but it's really cool you can make um, you know, you can make pretty much any kind of layout of buttons that you want to. I mean, this is a, almost an entire keyboard here, you know, so it's pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful app. And it's a good way to, um, to control your computer from your phone uh, without having to move your hand around a lot, which is the reason that I like it. So let me know if you have any questions and hope this helps.